Hey guys, welcome back. We're in the garden today and I wanted to show you something real quick that we gotta get taken care of. So while I was walking through these rows, I started to notice, I don't know if you'll pick them up on here, but we got a ton of wasps that are making a nest somewhere over in that direction. And instead of spraying some chemical down, because I don't want that getting into any of our food, we're gonna come up with a different solution to try to take care of uh, our problem here. So we got our water, we have our dish soap, apple cider vinegar, and about four tablespoons of sugar. The sugar and the apple cider vinegar will attract the wasps. The dish soap will coat them so they won't have the ability to fly and eventually they'll just drown. So this, this method, it's more for long term. Um, it won't be immediate, but uh, we'll check it every couple days. Maybe we'll clear our problem over time. So we'll go ahead and mix this up right now. Mix this thoroughly so the uh, salt, the uh, sugar dissolves. Now this won't harm any honeybees because they don't like the smell of apple cider vinegar. We'll let our dish soap in. I'll stir again. And you can use whatever containers you have. This is just what I had available. All right, let's go test it out. All right, three days have passed since we put this out. Let's go check to see what we got. Pumpkins are looking good. Not much watermelon, and here we are. So we got some regular old house flies that kind of love this stuff. I don't see any wasps. So I did have a bit of an oversight. I did not realize we were going to be getting torrential rains and thunderstorms. So this is what happens. I don't think we had enough time. But overall, I think this will work if we don't have <laughs> torrential rains. So I'm gonna keep using this method. So I'll probably change this out, put a new batch in, and see what I get later on. Uh, I'll probably do like a little follow up, see what we get. So that's the end of this video. Uh, as you saw, we did uh, we did catch some uh, flies, uh, some moths. Unfortunately, we did not get any wasps in this one. But I think if I put out a new batch, and if we don't get thunderstorms, uh, I think I think that would be an effective way of getting rid of wasps. But let me know what you think. If there's any other ways, leave a comment below. And let me know what you did to get rid of your wasp problem without doing anything chemicals near your garden. So uh, with that being said, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.